In this day and age of give me the newest and latest right now, it's rare for something like a logo to remain unchanged for 20 years. But this logo has become an iconic movie image and it didn't originate in Hollywood, but here in New Orleans. Tonight, Mike Haas brings you the reunion of the artist and the model. You've seen it a hundred times. The movie opening from Columbia Pictures and the elegant pose, reminiscent of the Statue of Liberty. And it all began right here in the French Quarter studio of artist Michael Dees. We first met Michael three years ago. His work is all over the world, literally. 21 of his paintings, Edgar Allan Poe, Abe Lincoln, and many, many others have become U.S. postage stamps. But back in 1992, Columbia Pictures asked Michael to paint their new logo. Michael interviewed several models, but none were right. But then he talked to a friend of his at the Times-Picayune. And he said, I have the right person for you. And she works here at the paper. So I was like, okay. Um, and then I saw Jenny, I was like, <laughs> She's the one. 28-year-old Jenny Joseph, a graphic artist at the paper, agreed on her lunch break to help out. So we just scooted over there, that came lunchtime, and um, wrapped a sheet around me and held a, a regular little desk lamp, side lamp, and just held that up and gave me did that with a light bulb. During the session that lasted only a few hours, Michael noticed something. At some point, she just started listing a little bit like this, and, and she very politely he said in her beautiful British accent, do you mind if I sit down? And she sat on the edge of the, the dais that were, and she said, announced that she had just discovered she was pregnant. Weeks, very early. Yeah, but my, my daughter doesn't be able to claim that she was there too. So. <laughs> she got back up and she continued to pose and uh, I guess the rest is history. That history took two months of painting, working day and night. But Michael's only seen the finished product once in the last 20 years, and Jenny has never seen it, until a recent showing at the Ogden Museum of Southern Art. And for the first time, artist and model saw it together. How he even begins to, to think that through, I have no idea. It's amazing. And the um, brilliance of the color, it's really stayed, stayed very sharp, considering it's 20 odd years old. Yeah. I never thought it would make it to the silver screen. Um, and I never thought that it'd still be up 20 years later, and I certainly never thought it would be in a museum. So it's kind of, um, it's gratifying. Columbia Pictures has used Michael's painting for its logo for 20 years, an eternity in the industry, but a testament to both the artist and the model. For Jenny, pretty good for a few hours on a lunch break. You never know how paths cross and what's going to come out of the events. I always tell my kids, if uh, something comes along, just go for it. Jenny had never modeled before and hasn't since. One pose, one painting that is standing the test of time, and then some. Mike Haas, Channel 4, Eyewitness News. Great story. Jenny now lives in Houston, but comes back to New Orleans frequently to visit. 